Key Signatures, everything you need to know so you don't fail a music class in just six minutes. Key signatures are a musical notation that indicates which notes are sharp or flat in a piece of music. They are a useful shorthand because this looks pretty cumbersome, but this doesn't look so bad. But both pieces would actually sound the same because of the key signature. This indicates that all Fs, Cs, and Gs are sharp, and this one says that all Bs, Es, and As are flat. It's important to note that this means all Fs are sharp, not just this one, but this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one too. And it's pretty important to play the right key signature because it can really change the sound of a piece. There are 15 key signatures in total, corresponding with the 15 major scales. Learning them all is an important rite of passage for a musician. You'll probably memorize them over time through sheer exposure and practice, kind of like the way you probably memorized all the street names in your neighborhood, but you probably never studied them. However, most people find it useful to have a trick or device to help remember them in the meantime. There are a number of popular tricks, but this device is my favorite one. It looks a little complicated at first, but this device tells you the key signatures for all the sharp and flat keys, and it's really easy to learn. This device also makes a lot more sense when you're aware of a few patterns that emerge in key signatures. So let's take a look at those now. Examining all 15 key signatures, we see that there are seven keys with sharps and seven keys with flats. There's just one left over, C major. It's a special case because it only has natural notes, but most people find it pretty easy to remember that C major doesn't have any sharps or flats. Taking a closer look at the sharp keys, the first thing to notice is that they all start the same way. Each one starts with F sharp. G major only has one sharp, and it's F sharp. C sharp major has a whole bunch of sharps, but it starts with F sharp too. In fact, all these key signatures start with F sharp. The second sharp, if there is one, is always C sharp. All of these keys have two or more sharps, and they all start with F sharp and then C sharp. This pattern continues. The third sharp, if there is one, is always G sharp. The fourth sharp is always D sharp. The fifth is A sharp. The sixth is E sharp. And the seventh is B sharp. Another way to visualize this pattern is, here's the key signatures for G major, D major, A, E, B, F sharp, and C sharp. The flat key signatures have a similar pattern. You'll notice that the first flat is always B flat. F major only has one flat, and C flat major has seven flats, but they all have B flat as the first flat. The second flat, if there is one, is always E flat. The third flat is always A flat. The fourth is D flat, the fifth is G flat, the sixth is C flat, and the seventh is F flat. Again, to help visualize this pattern, here are the key signatures for F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, and C flat. So the order of the sharps is this, and the order of the flats is this. They're always in that order, and they always fill in left to right. You'll never see some random combination of sharps and flats together in a key, like C-sharp and E-sharp, or A-flat and D-flat. That's not a thing. And you'll never see sharps and flats together in a major key signature. That's not a thing either. The phrase I like to use to remember the order of the sharps and flats is, Father Charles goes down and ends battle. The phrase works backwards for the flats too. Battle ends and down goes Charles's father. This is great, because you can double check that you've got both sets in the right order, and if you only happen to remember one of the phrases, you can still use it to generate both sets. Battle ends and down goes Charles's father. Father Charles goes down and ends battle. You can come up with your own if you prefer, maybe something like, furry creatures gently dozing after eating berries, or before even attempting dancing, get creative fashion, or French children greet diners after explaining backgammon, or bizarrely energetic antelope discuss grandiose corporate forecasts. It doesn't really matter, whatever you can use to remember. Now that we know the order of sharps and flats, we can make use of that device from the beginning. Here's how to write it. First, write out the order of the sharps and flats. Then, draw a line to the right of the C. Add accidentals to the left of the line, sharps for Father Charles and flats for battle ends. Finally, add numbers below each letter starting to the right of the line, then loop around when you get to the end. This device tells us the order of sharps and flats, the names of all major key signatures, and how many sharps and flats are in each key. If you want to know the key signature for A major, find A, we see that there are three sharps in A, and we know that three sharps has to be F, C, and G. If we want to know the key signature for E flat major, we see that the number says there are three flats. We know that three flats must be B, E, and A. This works for all the keys. G major has one sharp, F sharp. D major has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. A major has three, E has four, B has five, F sharp has six, and C sharp has seven. For the flats, F has one flat, B flat has two, E flat has three, A flat has four, D flat has five, G flat has six, and C flat has seven. If you want to identify a major key signature, just count how many sharps and flats there are and find it in the chart. With this one, we count five flats. Go to the flats chart and find the key with five flats, D flat major. 
You'll always know which chart to use because there isn't any overlap between the two. Each key only appears once. This is B and this is B flat. This is F and this is F sharp. This covers 14 keys. The only one that isn't there is C major, and we already know that C major doesn't have any sharps and flats. It's also important to know that the sharps and flats must be on these specific lines and spaces. Just like the written language has been codified over time, so has music. This looks normal, but this doesn't look normal. For the sharps, most people see a shape of two, three, two. On the bass clef, it's the exact same shape, but we start on this F instead and continue the pattern of two, three, two. The flats go in a 2 2 2 1 pattern, and it's the same in the bass clef, except we start down here. And that's it. If you can remember, Father Charles goes down and ends battle, and battle ends and down goes Charles's father, line to the right of the C, accidentals to the left of the line, numbers to the right of the line, and these shapes, then you've pretty much mastered key signatures. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching!